This is the Tiny Geopod. It's a dome. I think this is the first dome I've ever showcased on the channel. And today we're in Todd, North Carolina. This spot was actually featured on A&E's new show, Living Smaller. So you know it has to be a pretty cool Airbnb. And I also did a video on this same host tiny shipping container home. So I'll leave links down below to my other video and this host other Airbnbs. I'm really pumped for you all to check out this dome with me today. So let's now go and start the full tour. to begin the tour on the other side of this property and go to this small building which houses some important amenities. So I'll open up this door. When you first look in this direction, you can see the dome in the background and this little table with two stools. This is all a part of your outdoor kitchen space and this little sitting area here is just one of the many spots throughout the property that you can select for your morning cup of coffee or tea. But let's now look in this opposite direction towards your kitchen. It's an open concept kitchen and it's quite well stocked. You can clearly see where everything is as well. Up top there is that long shelf with all of your coffee mugs and cups, also your tea kettle. And then further down you have all these various different pots and pans. There's even a stove top here out in the woods and you have plenty of countertop space if you want to do some serious cooking during your stay. I also really loved this little magnetic knife holder on the wall, don't ask me why, but this kitchen certainly has everything that you need to get the job done. And now on the other end of this same small building, we'll open up this door back towards the entrance and this will take you into your bathroom. I won't spend a ton of time here, but it's simple and has all of the basic amenities. Along this wall, you can find a ton of towels, a rounded mirror, and then your cute little sink up against the corner. Closer to the door is then your shower, and a lot of it is made out of this cool metal siding. That will do it for the other building with the kitchen and bathroom. So let's now go and begin to approach the dome, which I think looks especially gorgeous at night all lit up. We'll walk up these stairs to the main deck, and this is what it also looks like from the other end of the property. There's plenty of outdoor space that you'll see shortly. There's also two fire pits. They're both very easy to turn on. This is the one closest to the dome. And at night you have two fire pits and all of these string lights. So the lighting is really on point. Now with the drone, I love this angle all up in the trees looking back towards the Airbnb. You should definitely pull up a chair to this fire pit later in the day because if I recall correctly, this location is perfect because you are directly facing towards sunset. Now to focus more on the actual dome itself, it's about 130 square feet of interior space total. It's actually quite sustainable because this entire property is powered from a nearby community solar garden and guests also do have the option to recycle, which I think is great because a lot of the Airbnbs I visit these days, unfortunately, just simply do not recycle. Finally, before we head inside, I'll briefly mention more of the surrounding area. This Airbnb is located exactly in Todd, North Carolina. There's definitely great options if you're into hiking and outdoor activities, and we are about two hours from both Asheville and Charlotte, North Carolina. Let's now finally open up this door, and it's time to see the interior. Inside now, there is a large queen-size mattress smack dab in the middle. Along this left wall, there is a small dining table with two chairs in case it's too chilly out and you need to eat indoors. That black box in the background is your heater, I believe, and there's also a small nightstand. This interior is certainly very bright and white, that's for sure. 
Looking in this direction though, we're gonna go back towards the entry door, which we first entered in from, because there's a few other items lined up against this other wall. There's an additional nightstand back here, your garbage, and some charging cables, because believe it or not, you can bring all of your devices out here because there is high-speed Wi-Fi, so you can be as connected or disconnected during your stay as you so please, and this white box, I believe, is your humidifier. Fire. Last but certainly not least, one of the key draws for any dome is all the natural lights in this massive window which takes up almost half of the entire exterior wall. It looks essentially like a bunch of mini triangles meshed together to form this one really big window. In front of the window, you can find another sitting area in this small table. This is definitely a good option if you're staying during one of the colder months. You can still wake up and enjoy your view from here. This next part got me thinking. Privacy, of course, is really important for Airbnb guests, but you can't really buy curtains like this on just Amazon or from any major store because it's such a uniquely shaped window. So the owners made, I think, essentially custom made curtains, which you can very easily pull along this wire and it looks like this. But let's now go and check out the other half of their property. Located on the other side of the dome, you can see there are still a bunch of other outdoor amenities for us to see. Starting off, of course, you have your hot tub here on the right hand side. You can never go wrong with one of these and you'll notice this is definitely starting to become a bit of a romantic getaway. I mean, a hot tub, two fire pits and string lights. Moving beyond your hot tub now, we're going to approach fire pit number two, literally right next to the hot tub, so easy access. You could go back and forth between the fire pit and the hot tub, I suppose. And this was taken later in the day, so you can see the sun there in the top left because it was about to set. Again, sunset is great at this Airbnb. And this is a, another gas-powered fire pit, so these things are really easy to use. You just make sure that the gas is on and you flip a switch and you're all good to go. For the final exterior amenity, you can see it's beyond this fire pit, and this is another outdoor sitting area. I think it's the fanciest one yet because it looks like it's basically inside of this tent. There are curtains on all four corners, and there's this comfortable outdoor couch with an additional table, so you can also have some of your meals out here if you desire. So there's so many different spots to choose from around this property, from the main outdoor deck to the two fire pits and this other sitting area. We'll have certainly no shortage of options. I'll put booking links to all of this host Airbnb properties down in the video description in case the Geopod is booked and be on the lookout for my video tour of this same host tiny shipping container home on wheels. It's really cool and just down the road from the dome. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you all very soon for another Airbnb tour.